We're cooking grouper today, one of the tropical fish. Very nice and um, not too cheap, <laughs> but it's delicious and we should always treat ourselves to what's the best. And this is one of the better fish. We're going to do the usual sauce with um, the onion, tomato, red and green pepper, and I'm putting a little curry just to make it a light curry sauce. I'm also going to be adding okras, or okras, whichever way you want to say it. And that makes it quite delicious. So, I'm going to get on with it. So, here I'm melting the butter. Lovely butter to add um, the, other, the regular tomato. Tomato will be last actually. The onion, red and green pepper, sliced lengthwise, just to make it pretty. So here we go. Here we go with these angela, these goodies that we like so much. This is a really good way to start a sauce. Is with these. Simple ingredients, peppers and onions. These were the fresh time that I dried myself. So I've got to take the little branches out. Okay, added some thyme. I've added some curry powder, not too much, because I don't want the curry powder to overpower the flavor of the fish. And you get all the measurements on the website, cooklikeajamaican.com. Here I've added a little water, and again you get the measurements from it, from the recipe. That will start. Cooking the onion and all the other stuff. Now I'm going to add a little salt and pepper. I have them both mixed up together here. So I just add a little salt and pepper, which I'll adjust at the end of the cooking time. When I put everything together, then I'll adjust the, the seasoning. These are the okras, Angela, and I've cut them in half. I trim the ends, wash and cut them in half and then add them to the pan. And this, is what they, this is what they look like before I cut them. So that's a bit of a quick one to hold. Yeah. So you're basically sauteing the okra. Yeah. I'm just putting them there to start cooking. Add the tomatoes. it for about a minute or two just to get it what we say sweat it a little bit and I'm gonna add the coconut oil drain best way I can and dry the fish with a um, paper towel. This I want to show you. Sometimes the fish monger, as we call them, does not cut this piece out. So if it's there, you need to cut it away. It's just a piece of tissue. Okay. So when you're cleaning, okay. So now I'm going to add the fish. And you notice it's salted and peppered. If you want to cut the fish in smaller pieces, it's easy. But I like to keep it whole and then cut it in serving pieces after I've cooked it. Because I don't want it to fall in a pot. Those are two really large grouper yeah. steaks. Yeah. Yeah. 
this is the reason why I don't want to cut it before, because it starts separating on it. Needs more liquid. I'm adding a little lemon juice. This fish needs some lemon juice. Let's see if I always add a little ketchup to my sauces. Almost forgot, so now I'm adding a little ketchup to the sauce. I have to dilute it now. Get it all mixed so I can pour it around the fish. Just flipping over the fish because it's very thick so that I can make sure it's cooked too. If it's a thinner slice you don't have to you don't have to flip it. And we're nearly finished another. Just cover it over now and leave it for a minute or two. Rupa stew is ready and I'm quite pleased with it. So here we go. Come on over. So I've fixed up the fish for serving. I've um, cut it in chunks. And um, I should mention that grouper is a good fish for making a good fish stew. It's very forgiving and it won't fall apart on you. Okay, so um, here goes my grouper stew with okras, which is optional. I like okras. Okay, so go to cooklikeajamaican.com and you'll find the recipe there and all the instructions for making this beautiful fish dish. Okay? Look like a Jamaican.com and bye. See you again. Hello. Have you subscribed to our YouTube um, channel yet? If not, just press the button below and subscribe and you'll get more of our delicious recipes. So do that. And you'll be happy like I'm happy at the moment cooking for you all. Bye for now.